Your arm cocktail, I'm going to show you how to make today is the trade winds. Absolute tropical, fun, vibrant, not a kind of tiki cocktail in that sense. But this is right up my street and I can't wait to show you how to make it. Hey, Rum fans, welcome back to the channel. But for all of you that are new around these parts, then hello, my name's Steve the Barman. And on this channel, my red channel, I show you how to make all the fun run rum cocktails from Smuggler's Co. from Beach Bum Berries Remixed. We're going to go through them all over the next few years. So if you like the sound of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But don't forget, I've now got five other YouTube channels, all with their own specific niches. So if you're not about, if you're about rum, but not about cocktails, do check out the blue channel. If you like brandy, check out the black channel. If you're all about British scratch rum, check out the green channel. And if you're all about education, check out the yellow channel. Now for tiki lovers, there's two recipes that kind of float around. There is Beach Bum Berries Remixed, which is page 124, uh, and kind of like it was invented, not created in 1970s. Uh, but my Martin Kate has also got his version in Smuggler's Cove in his book, and I dare say the recipe that he serves up there. Now, this is kind of so what you so basically Beach Bun Berries remixed, it would serve two to four. There's a lot of booze. Where is it? A hundred well, there's a lot of lemon juice, 120 ml of lemon juice, and that would serve for me four people. So you know, it does say two to four. Even if you halve that, 60 ml of lemon juice for me is still too much. So when you look at Martin Kate's recipe in Smuggler's Cove, which is page 94, for those of you who've got a book, again, he does what I would do, but I've played about with this recipe and there's still too much lemon juice in there for me. Now, as I mentioned, when I'm making this, I don't know whether it's because the coconut that you guys have over in the US is slightly sweeter than what we do here, but in the using any of the products that I talk about here, I don't think you need to go 45 mil of um, of lemon juice. I think it's equal measures, as we'll come to. That's bang on the money for me. And bearing in mind, I've got a little bit of a sweet tooth, but not an excessively sweet tooth. So, you know, I, I'm pretty much gauging my palate on mass market. So for the ingredients I'm using here, I would pretty much go with what I've got. So let me run you through the ingredients you're going to need. Let's go. Let's go back to the front. Let's go uh, lemon juice. So I've got lemon juice there. Uh, my coconuts, this cream off coconuts. So think uh, Real or Coco Lopez. You know, I know there's a little Coco Lopez is better than all this. They're the same stuff. It's just the coconut content. They're not coconut creams where you would kind of, that's the most authentic. And then you need to add sugar to that. Cream of coconuts are the blended stuff. So Coco, so Real, Coco Lopez, ODK that I use, Mon and Le Free, and the grey bottles, they're all cream of coconut. So whatever your coconut go-to is. Uh, my apricot liqueur, we're getting close, nearly need a new bottle of this, apricot du Roussillon from Gifar. And then the rums. Now, it does call for a light Puerto Rican rum. I do class this, and I, I know like light Puerto Rican rum would probably be a white unaged rum, but I, I love the Don Q7. The Don Q7 just gives me like phenomenal kind of a little bit of extra layers in there that you would get instead of like your white unaged Don Qs. There's nothing against them, but I just think that works so, so well. And then uh, both recipes call for a dark Jamaican rum. I do love this. I use this OD for for cocktails quite a lot. Plant Array, we've changed the name now, ain't we? I'm getting good at this. Uh, so Plant Array, again, you know, I've got nothing. I would use Worthy 109 in this as well. Absolutely. I'll use Plantation OFTD in this. I would absolutely use Dark uh, Goldstone there. Do you know what? If push came to shove, I would actually use Myers in this as well. So you do your dark rum of choice. I just love the combination this brings. I've made this cocktail loads of times, and this is my go-to recipe. So as I said, I am going Martin Kate's Smuggler's Cove. I think this works better from what I've done. I prefer flash blended over the slush puppy vibe for this cocktail. But then again, because of the products I've got, I've got, I've just slightly adapted the lemon juice from Smuggler's Cove and slightly less. So all these ingredients are 30 mil. So 30 mil of lemon juice, 30 mil of the apricot du Roussillon, apricot liqueur, 30 mil of the coconut from ODK, I swear by this stuff because it's just, even though it's thick and proper coconut, it's just so much easier to manage than Real or Coco Lopez. Then we're going for 30 mil of our Puerto Rican rum, Don Q7. Then we're going for 30 mil of our Plant Array OD, so Jamaica and Barbados, effectively. Good scoop of crushed ice. 
Couple of agitator cubes and then flash blend for five or six seconds. Open gated pour into your sling glass. Maybe not without the crushed big chunks. Then traditional garnish, according to Martin Kate Smuggler's Cove, it's the umbrella upside down and maraschino cherry. That's as fun and as well balanced as tropical drinks get. Definitely tropical, definitely fun. Oh, it's just so good. I definitely wouldn't want, there's a lot definitely there. I wouldn't want to put any more lemon juice in that. I, uh, I've played about with this recipe a lot. And I think, especially for the sweet, I don't know whether the coconuts, the coconut um, cream of coconuts that they make in the US back in the day and Martin K is sweeter than what we've got here. That might be, but you know, for me, that is super well balanced. And you just do not need 45 mil of, or that extra amount of um, lemon juice in this cocktail. But the coconut is where the rums just work so well without being overpowering. I don't think you need a funky Jamaican rum in this cocktail. Like the reason I use OD is because I think, I'll plant away OD is because I think the Worthy 109 just gives me a bit too much in this. This is just fun. Mass market, fun. Not my tie where the rums all shine through. This is just fun. So I absolutely love this cocktail. If you love it as well, give me a thumbs up in the, in the comments below.